Hello, and uh, welcome back to Thea the Awakening. Alright, um... So last time, we had a fairly productive session, uh, fairly uneventful, but we gathered a whole bunch of Moonstone, got ourselves a nice strong palisade built here, and we are at risk of somebody dying, but I believe that was one of the spiders who just has so little health that an earthquake was putting it at risk of dying. Uh, it would be annoying if it died, but the chance of that is pretty low. Oh, are we getting attacked? No. The night is quiet and calm. Okay, nobody As died, I guess. The ground shakes beneath your feet without any warning. You feel the grumbling of the earth, and you fear Mokosh's wrath is upon you. But this tremor feels somehow different, less natural. Ah, uh, this is the village. Okay, out of curiosity. Yeah, you heal up fully. Okay. Oh, those. That's fine. Distant thuds and groans, then several short yet violent rhythmic shakes. Then, slowly, the sounds and the tremors move away. I wonder how many times you're just going to get the same event. Before you is a group of black wolves attacking something. Ah. As you look closer, you realize there are two packs. One attacking a small baby, and one fighting not far with something else. You see that the child is clearly protected by some magic, as the wolves seem unable to get to it. However, you're not certain how long this shield will last. You also see that the other group is fighting with a single black cat that is putting up a good fight, but clearly losing its strength now. You remember that this could be a Dola, a demon of fate that can be protective towards its benefactors, or take on the role of a guardian spirit, most often a cat. All right, well, we've seen this one before. Split off two people. Group to protect the child and the rest to help the cat. We have to fight four wolves with a reduced party, but this isn't going to be any problem at all. And it looks, well, I was going to say it looks like we kept our heavy hitters, but I mean, this party is basically entirely comprised of heavy hitters, so I don't think we have anything to worry about here. I'll just do that. Uh, counter offense, get rid of that. Okay. And we win. Yep. Wolves not really a threat at this you point. Uh, that is bad quality and also atrocious stats. It was not easy, but both cat and child are fine. The cat's eyes shine gold, and you could swear it smiles at you. You feel a surge of positive energy. Alright, got another child. Ooh, plus three animal kinship. A nice bonus. And uh, not that's an intellect, that's dexterity. Uh, the experience is nice. Alright, we have a... Point of research. Um, that's right, Ostoya. What? Uh, inventory. What? This again, every time. And I'm gonna say that every time. Uh, do we have... Uh, we don't have any construction materials in this particular group. But now that everybody's here, we should probably set out an expedition, because uh, we got our wall done. We got a whole bunch of people not really doing anything, including some of our crafters. Let's see. Yeah, we're getting all of these at, at a decent clip. Uh, well, this would be better if it was one higher, but... Uh, it's not really that urgent. Uh, ten higher, I mean, which would be two untrained people. Well, the orc worker is not doing anything, but the orc worker is going to be going out. So let's see: food, 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 slingshot, big black sword. All right, uh, I guess it's time to look at these swords. Yeah, the three divination. Hmm. All right, one-handed, two-handed, animal. Kinship, you're not great at that, honestly. A leech, that's fine. Speech, sure, helps you the most. Oh, we only actually have one warrior here. Yeah, we could use more warriors for sure. Yeah, I think people are actually fairly well equipped overall. We don't have. Right, plus one craft. It's so random. Okay, well, there's not really any point in equipping any of these. So now. We're going to make an exp ex 
expedition. I can speak. Uh, if we're going to make an expedition, I think that we should find out who's poisoned and send the four poisoned people on it to investigate this place. And we do have some nasty fights here. Uh, can we hex these with our current group? Probably. Uh, okay, let's just get rid of all this. 55 Moonstone. Getting there. Yeah, we're getting a lot of encounters here. The bandits I'm not too worried about. Just four of them. It's going to be really easy. This one's going to be a lot harder. Alright. Who's poisoned? Uh, equipment lets us see a bigger window. And poison's going to have a red background. You! Red Zim. Izbigniev. Ola. And Radomir. And I believe it's only the four of them, because we had six poisoned people, but two of them died. Okay, well, Radomir and Pola are not currently building. Radzim and... Izbigniev. It's a little bit unfortunate, but... It's okay. Uh, I don't have a lot of magic in this party. Now you do. Well, you have a little bit of magic. Oh, but we have the Baby Yaga and the Striga Mistress, and they're both coming along. Alright, new expedition. So it was Radzim, Zgniev, Pola, Radimir, and then basically everybody who's not working on something. The Orc Worker, Striga Mistress, Baba Yaga. It's only seven. Do I want more? I mean, the town is much safer than it used to be because everybody has that plus seven shielding now from the uh, from the wall, which is going to make a big difference. Uh, Wolf. I mean, Wolf has plus two to craft. Oh, right, that's because of the, the smithy. Never mind. Subtract two from crafting on everybody. Uh, Goblin Warrior. You can stay behind. You don't have magic, do you? Anybody else have magic? You do. Yeah, and you're you're a pretty terrible crafter. You can come along. Uh, well, Goblin Warrior. Not going to be a whole lot of good in a hex challenge, but. We're going to be doing some fighting too, possibly. Or our gatherer. Gatherer has decent, decent magical abilities. Oh, it's because it's got the sword. I mean, decent abilities all around. If I were kept him here, he'd make more sense to be, be gathering anyway. Which, yeah, we'll keep you. Okay, I will we'll bring you because you have some skills that the rest of our party might not. Then I guess we'll bring a warrior just for the the bonus. Uh, you do have a little bit of damage for magic. That sixth sense. Five attractiveness. Help. Hmm. I don't want to leave this too... Too barren. It, it's, it seems kind of ridiculous to me that I'm leaving both hunters in here, um, but they're my best gatherers because I don't actually have any gatherers at this point. So they kind of have to stay here. I mean, I guess I could switch out. Well, you're only nine. Yeah, no, yeah, I have to keep a few gatherers around. Okay. It's fine, that's fine. I'll worry about it later. Like right now. Uh, making sure, you know, one turn, one turn, 12 turns, that's fine. Now we did, we did just vacate a bunch of our best people uh, for a lot of these kinds of tasks. Uh, goblin, no, oh, Goblin might as well do this for now. And that's because, yeah, we need them here. Uh, did I want to unlock anything else, or am I just waiting on the moonstone still? 
I think I'm kind of just waiting on Moonstone, so... Yeah, we'll take the wood. Take ten. It's more than enough. Although we just have the one gatherer, really, so... Oh no, you're a decent gatherer as well. Medic. Uh... Food. I guess that'll, that'll be at the very bottom here. Take the pierogies. And the pies. This is 37 days. We're not going to be gone that long, honestly. But... It's not that heavy, and having multiple types of food gives you some bonuses. So we'll give you a few of each of these. Yeah. That's good. Alright. Expedition 1 can stay put. Expedition 2... Right, they get the extra movement because in the village they have a bunch of food. Uh, let's do the easy one first. Uh, do we want to just fight them? They're not that strong, but... Uh, social. I could probably auto-resolve this, to be honest. Uh, I'm just... I'm always leery about auto-resolving stuff, but I guess I really don't need to be. Oh, their levels are so low. I can actually <laughs> use my Striga Mistress's great beauty here. Oh, it failed. Okay, well that'll show me. Level 5? Level 7? Ah, the captain. Okay. I mean... Does this even really matter? Here, we'll confuse you. Counter... Tactic... Sure. We could confuse you, but there's not really any point. Alright, well, we'll play you next, because you're going to get the free hit. Which means that we now do double poison. Means that you now do 15. Make a support ally as well, so whatever. Support ally. Alright, that'll be good enough. Yeah, I could have autoed this easily. jacket. That's really heavy. And not terribly good defense. Oh. Oh, we have better. Metal ring, we'll keep that. Also some vegetables. Excellent. Wait. Anybody got a ring slot? Oh, you. You have several. Here, have some distraction and armor. Alright. Now if we do this, banishment ritual is going to be pretty hard, but I mean... Um... We auto? Probably could. I don't. Probably could because we have the Baba Yaga and the uh, the Striga here. They're both pretty good, but yeah. The problem is, is if I play her, they might get a. Oh, I messed up. I should have just gone first action, then I would have. Or I should have gone auto, because then I, I wouldn't be in this predicament. Alright. So now I have to shield her because I don't have any other option any other good options. Oh boy. I want to survive this. And she might not survive. Yeah, I think we might actually fail this. And then they first action. Yeah, I think we're actually gonna fail this. I don't I don't see any any good options here. Nope, that failed. Hmm.
This is going to be terrible because we're going to now have to fight them. But we're going to be fighting them after having taken a bunch of damage. And failing the ritual. Probably. Yeah, I just got used to having all of my powerful people all together and I've split them up and I shouldn't be... Shouldn't be doing this the same way. Are we even going to get any of them? I don't think we are. Yeah. I mean, there's always this. Just give up. Yeah. It's fine. Oh. Your wise ones chant a spell in the dark, in a dark foreboding tongue. Until trickles of black blood run from their eyes, ears, and noses, so many people cry out in pain as the ritual backfires on them. Alas, it has no effect on the undead, apart from their rage as they lunge at you. So we take a bunch of hits, and then we have to do a fight. Wonderful. Now we have to do a fight that I really didn't want to do, because these things are going to hit really hard. Uh, well, that went really poorly. Okay, I do have my first action here, because I have all my craftsmen. And given that they're all injured, I don't want to be using them. Ah, oh, it's terrible. You hit so hard. Why do you hit so hard? Um, and you have a lot of health too. Like I can't. Uh, I can't. I can't do anything here. Uh, I do want to play my stuff first. I know they're gonna first action, and it's gonna be chaos. But with this setup. Well, I can first action after they first action, so that's something to keep in mind. So who do I want to be closest and taking the most hits from everybody? Striga Mistress, maybe? Orc Worker? Probably Orc Worker. I want you to be last, so I play you first, then. And, well, we're not... We're not going to be first actioning everybody. We're going to be first actioning three people. Okay. So in that case, I'll play you... Shield ally. Really? Two spears. Problem with playing stuff. Okay. Okay. So, two hits on you to kill you would be you two. That would be sufficient, right? That would be 60-something. And then we get you killing this next. We want you first. First, second, third. So we'll play you now. Okay, they ran out of spears. Damage is just so high, though. Everything is terrible. Do we want the orc worker taking every hit? So you two combined will do... 23, 25, 42. Uh, it'll survive, then it'll take another hit. Unless this attacks... We leave you here. No, we're not leaving you here. Uh, we're just gonna go, and if they first action and put somebody on the other side of these guys, I think that's good because that'll spread spread out the damage a little bit. So we're actually just gonna start doing this. All right, just go ahead, do your worst.
It's terrible. Uh, the only good thing about this is that we killed a bunch of their stuff. We're actually going to wait because they have spears and we're really injured. So, and we have first action anyway. So we're going to wait until they play everything. And then we're going to go hide in our town and people are going to die. That's, that's how this is going to play out. Now you weren't a spear, you are just a really tanky skeleton for some reason. Okay, well, their, their heavy damage is up front, and we're going to kill both of them, so that's really good. Ah, you suck. I think we're not even going to play you, honestly. Uh, we're just going to play these two. And that will kill both of these. Oh, but then... Then you'll hit... No, we have to play you as bait at the end. Okay. Hopefully draw a few hits. So who's going first? It doesn't matter. Who's going to take the hits then is, I guess, the question. I let the Striga Mistress take the hits. So we'll play... Play you. Play you. First action. First action. And then medic at the end. And she does have that life skill. Is not terrible. Okay, we survived. Nobody died that round. All right, we're gonna wait these out as well. I feel like I've just been having a bad run of this game lately. Like, the previous episode wasn't that bad, but this this was absolutely awful, what just happened here. Uh, okay, we do have a first action. You are only doing seven damage, and we've got more than enough shielding to tank that. So we're going to... 27... Uh, you know what? We're just gonna We're just gonna play everybody out. That'll be fine. We need to do anything else. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. I could just hit the end turn button, but I'm choosing not to. Yay, we won! Only three more people are dying. So from that, five people. Five people started to die due to this encounter. Lovely. But oh, we're not going to see the uh, the doctor anytime soon. Ah, uh, no. Scrap, scrap all the things. Ooh, good quality. It's actually pretty light for those stats. We'll keep it... There's no way we can make it to the deity. Alright, back in camp we go. Anybody die? Probably. Your village is swarmed by the wailing wraiths. It is a force of pure darkness, a menacing wave of tormented souls who seek nothing but the destruction of all life. Well, we saw how well the curse thing went. Um, try to form a protective spell, sure. Those who know the mystical ways of magic create a protection spell. It holds much of the evil at bay, but you still need to fight, or lives will be lost. Oh. Okay, this will be easy. Because we've got everybody, we can we can actually deal with this one. Uh, you have counter offense, and you're actually good enough. Okay. Rid of you. We don't have any counter tactic, right? Not with this group. Play him out. Okay. So, I mean, you one-shot everything. Is there any way... Any way to deal with the other one as well? I don't think we have any buffs here, do we? Okay, well, what we can do, we can play you. And then we can do six damage to kill this. And then you'll kill the other one. 
And then you can just get closer for good measure. Okay, good enough. Uh, I could have played some shields, I suppose, but we're good. Yeah, slight difference between a, a tier 3 hex challenge and a tier 4 hex challenge. And also having everybody Will instead of... stronger than the malicious force of the Wailing Wraiths. This time, none of your people died. Okay, this was actually a really good event. So we got all of that. And, ooh, plus 2 magic, plus 2 folklore on a hunter. And nobody died. Okay. Uh, Stoya... Still minus three, minus two, three, five. Okay, people are recovering. Still, still chance of death, but uh, I could have put people to work. Could have and should have. All right. Uh, I'm not sure what I want to do with this. Like, I probably should just start getting armor, honestly. What kind of ingredients are we looking at for these, though? Leather and... Well, we have, we have spider silk. Uh, we don't really have a whole lot. I guess the thing is, we'll get these, but we don't... So we, we need to spend more points here also, unlocking better metals, unlocking better leathers. Um, unlocking better wood, maybe. But then we have to go and gather them as well. Get the well... It would give us random stuff every turn. Uh, or we could get the barracks, so that if we have somebody grow up as a warrior, they get a bunch of bonus stats. I mean, this is kind of what I'm looking, I'm interested in, but... Uh, we'll get the well first. Just because it might be amazing. So we could build it with Moonstone. Always Moonstone. Um, nimble Wood would be, I guess, the best thing here. So what are we looking at here? Add three random resources if we use just regular wood. I use Ancient Wood. Five. Not bad. Quartz. Three. Granite. Four. Sandstone's going to be three. Oh, we can use Metals as a catalyst. There's no point. Not with this. Okay, so do we go four with the... Was it granite? Four with granite, or do we use our ancient wood on this? I think we could just use the granite and get the four. Well, we're getting this every single turn. Yeah, I guess we'll do that. We'll build it out of wood. Uh, and I can... Oh, I see. We only have two options, right? Stone well and wood well. Two graphics, depending on which type of resource we use. Right, it's not gonna not gonna change if we do this. No. Alright. Ancient wood it is. Five random resources a turn. Uh confirm. That's relatively easy to build. Uh you all get to work on that. Eight turns. A seven, okay. If I take you off and put the... No. We want this as quickly as possible. That'll be fine. I think it'll be high enough value for our... Um, for our... What am I trying to say? Uh, for a victory condition where we need to get the, the impressive structures, that well should qualify. I think that's really not going to be that hard to get. Okay, 195, is that... Yeah, none of you have any crafting to speak of. But we might as well... Because there's no point in having more than 165. Okay, so that's... You're two-turning the spider silk. Okay. So crafting... Everybody who is not currently involved with other things can... They're making the sword, I guess. 
Ouais. And hopefully, nobody dies. A child of perhaps six stands in your way. As you get closer to him, you see the child is no ordinary human. His skin is silvery, his eyes seem golden, his hair looks like strands of very thin metal, and as he hops around gleefully, you hear the clunking of coins. Hey boy, who are you? The boy does not answer, only smiles at you and starts to play with a ball. But he remains close to your group and glances at you from time to time, as if waiting for something. His golden eyes measure you with the tenacity of a wildcat playing with its prey. You think this may be the fabled treasure boy, a minor luck demon who can bring much fortune. But what was the way to get it? There was something about its head or face or body. Just beat him with a stick. When you don't know what to do, just beat him with a stick. Uh, well, we have violence or we have non-violence. I think we'll try non-violence. You pat the treasure boy's head, but he just looks up at you and laughs, then disappears. Oh well, free experience. Still chance of death. And, I mean, I guess we did take a lot of damage. I shouldn't complain, because the fact that nobody died was pretty amazing. Oh yeah, you're exactly at a quarter of your health. Okay. You're still, still at slight risk. Uh, more moonstone. The whole land is shaped. Many people get ah. He took a wound. Out, but the tremors eventually stop. I mean, I guess it's technically free experience. Oh, what? What? Ah. Somebody just lost a strength buff, didn't they? Oh, it was a pretty minor one. It looks like. Um, plus one intelligence. You don't really need that, to be honest. Anybody else have capacity for a tome? How heavy was it? 25. Oh, it's pretty tight, actually, on the encumbrance on all these people. Okay, you're not dying anymore. There you go. Plus one intelligence for you. I thought that maybe our adventuring party here had gathered so much stuff that they were encumbered. The skies but no. darken, and a sudden heavy hailstorm descends upon your village. The hailstorm is really bad. Some people are getting injured bad. The hail is so large and dense that it breaks through your granary's roof. You manage to patch up the roof in time so that very little food was damaged, and your people only got minor injuries. I'm glad that the wolf was able to help with the, the roof repair. Getting a lot of random events, but they haven't been too bad, all things considered. Uh, how many more turns is it on this well? Just a curiosity. Four. Okay. Spiders. It's not going to be too bad. Tier one spiders. Whatever. Uh, okay, we have people in the village not doing anything anymore. Crafting. Right, because we finished all of our swords. Do we have any other materials to make? Swords with gold. <laughs> Make a golden sword just for the sake of having some research being crafted. Not bad. As far as grace. Seven six. Or nine six and five. I mean it stretches out further if we use the amber. We're not using it for anything else, so. That's also really light. Uh, is it significantly lighter? Not really. Wow, that's a really light two-handed weapon. Uh, how about one-handed? If we did one-handed swords, how much research can we get out of these? Nine. Seven. This is up a lot. It is one-handed, but uh, we don't need we don't need a one-handed weapon with that. I mean, we don't need a we don't need a two-handed weapon either. Those stats. I just don't want to have the gold sitting around. Use it up before it gets stolen or attracts something nasty. So I guess we'll just do this. I mean, we could build something out of gold, but I'm not interested actually because it's not a terribly good resource. So yeah, because we're building. Building out of um, s 
Nein. Uh, everybody is working. Everybody's working, okay. We could be building more hammers, I suppose. Okay, we'll get, get some research out of that. How are we doing? And moonstone's accumulating. Back? Be kind of funny. Okay, the well is done. Excellent. Yes, currently built two. Also, the other one wouldn't have been enough. We had to be over 16. I don't think the other one was. The granite. With the ancient wood, the well does qualify. More stuff. Okay, yeah. So the, the well, what it does is it produces uh, five in this case, because that was the level we built it at. It'll give us five of a random resource every turn. Out of all of the resources that we have unlocked, I don't know if that includes food stuff. I hope it doesn't, because that would be um, a very high chance. There's so many different food items in this game. These just start with unlocked. I have a feeling that it does count include food stuff. Although, I mean, I guess random food stuff isn't terrible. Um, it's not something that we produce. Okay, this plus one meat pasture. Um, well, we're looking for construction options here. Plus the plus one meat from the pasture. I mean, seriously. Uh, oh, we don't actually have... Okay, we could do it with fruit. Plus one meat. Right, we couldn't... We couldn't really make anything better out of this, could we? How would... Uh, dryad wood? Plus two. One. Yeah, I mean, plus two instead of plus one would be nice, but I don't know if I want to spend a whole bunch of, uh, of resources on that. Oh, plus three to use up some granite. That wouldn't be bad. Plus three plus two. Uh, what's our current uh, village overview? What does our current pasture give us? Plus one plus two. Yeah. Let's build a better one. We have to because we're playing with realism on. We have to destroy it before we can start a new one. Otherwise, when we get here, it would tell us that we can't do it. This down here. Really running low on wood. Uh, plus two plus, plus two plus two. What? Oh, granite, not quartz. It's three plus two. Yep. Confirm. All right. You three. Get to work. Need food. Four... Uh, still four. Oh, I think we can get it down to three with an extra plus three. Yep. Three turns for the pasture. So we sacrifice three food in the short term to gain two more food every turn after. I'd say that'll pay for itself very quickly. Okay. Oh, and we have a research point again. Uh, construction. I did want the barracks. We're building a, a moonstone barracks here. That'll be our third impressive structure, I guess, and then we'll be, we'll be done. I can stop investing in these. Oh, right, and since we've unlocked these now, we can see the rest of this tech tree, so I might as well take a quick look here. Meeting hall lets you get is it sages. Choose sage and have a chance to be a scholar or inventor. Okay. Is that cooked meal, or is that just any any food? Any food, I guess. Probably, probably just raw resources. I don't think we can put cooked meals in it. Uh, yeah, I haven't, I haven't ever actually built this thing, but... Speech, will, and intelligence on defense. Okay, so if we have to do a speech challenge defensively, the meeting hall will give us an advantage. Eh. Uh, intelligence, I guess this would help against magic, technically. Uh, bones, straw, it's a lot. Oh, spider silk. No, not spider silk. This isn't string, this is straw. Don't keep making that mistake. Uh, okay, so yeah, we have these options here. So we could do, again, Moonstone and something. I'm just doing Moonstone because I want to get the maximum bonus out of these structures, but I should be building uh, other stuff out of it. What's this? Manger. Uh, attracts beast and trains people in animal kinship. 
Children growing up as gatherers receive 10 more skill points. Right, so like 7 or 8 free levels on all gatherers that grow up. And we could use some more gatherers. Let's see, grain, leather, or straw. I mean, that's pretty cheap to build, honestly. Uh, other ones, I mean, this would increase magic and let us grow up to be witches. Um, oh, that could be that could be expensive. We'll all, all in on the moonstone of this, and then we'd have really high magic defense because everybody in our village would have like plus five magic or something. So that would be really great for that. This is actually pretty good to build uh, because regardless of what benefit you get from it, no matter what materials you build it out of, your blessings persist while you're in the town. So all of these blessings where it's like, oh, plus five strength for 10 turns or whatever, that's permanent as long as it's a person who's going to be in the village forever. So you can get a pretty significant boost out of having this, but it's two research points and that's all it really does. I guess we don't have the Curse of Darkness and even if we do, I think we have other ways to remove it. Uh, spawning babies occasionally, I'm not that keen on that. This is the other new one. Archery range, this is what lets you become a hunter. Probably the, the hardest class unlock out of all of them. You need one, two, three skill points just to, to unlock it. Uh, it gives a bonus to range defense for everybody in the village. Of course, can't use stone in this one, so we're not really in a position to build this out of anything decent. So we'll be passing on that. But I think at this point I want more warriors, honestly. Uh, gatherers are always good, but... Right, there's no, there's no point in doing anything there. We got our well done, we got that done. Five dark wood, okay. And now we get to play the fun... Oh, spiders. Now we get to play the fun, what resource did we get this turn game? Herbs. <laughs> okay, not the, not the best option there. You see fresh boar tracks. It looks like nice. a large pack. You come across. Oh yeah, we got the tactics. We can confuse them. Oh, it's only three. Oh, usually it's four. Okay, this is a small boar pack. And we have a trapper. We do counter offense. That counter tactic that requires. Well, we got whatever that is. Uh, perception. It was just you. We'll confuse you with our tactician. That was completely unnecessary, actually, because we can also just do that. Uh, Alright. And then we'll play a few heavy hitters here. That'll be good. Alright. Remove the cards. You have defeated the ball pack. That's pretty heavy compared to the ones that we build. Yeah, it gets us some... Um, Low quality bone and leather and the worst food resource in the game, but eh. Oh, it also got us a level. Nice. Or strength in the expedition, that's always good. Herbalism, that's eh, okay, I guess. Scholar. Animal kinship. A bunch of random stuff here. Gather, eh, I guess. Uh, more trap on the spider, that's always good. I like. I like that, because they don't have a lot of useful skills, but if they have a high trap rating, then that can be that can be pretty nice. Okay, we're up to 80. I don't know how much longer I want to stay here. Maybe 100 again. The thing is, really, it's the encumbrance that's the issue, not the... not anything else. Everybody in Astoria is healed up at this point, right? Oh, I didn't... I didn't check the well. Oh, hey, we got a new person. Kane. Yeah, so you just get random stuff now. Maybe I did check the well and I wasn't paying attention. Pastures finished, we got a new human. I guess that makes sense, given that we have a ton of plus human at this point. Um, we got a human warrior, which is excellent, because uh, this is a class I want more of. Uh, Alright, so the crafting is just by default. She's pretty strong, that's good. She'll have a lot of gear, uh, potential I mean. Probably doesn't start with decent gear, although that's a decent attack rating to start with. All right, well let's uh, let's check her out and then yeah, we'll gear her up, and then I guess we'll we'll go out later. Okay, yeah, that's yeah. These these are terrible. You can do better. 
Uh, we can give you a two-handed sword that does other things. You have no magical ability to speak of. We give you some. We just go with sturdiness. Honestly, sturdiness is probably not a bad option uh, for the warrior. If we're going to be doing magic, um, I'm not going to be relying on you for that. Is your health... Yeah, your health is pretty low. I mean, you haven't been leveling up, so... Oh, and also health is armor, right? You don't have armor on. Uh, well, no, that's his default. That's default health. Armor health is different. Okay, we've got an 18. I think this is our best armor. 18 and 2. Um, shield. We just have the 1. Do we not have any good shields? Man, I've been dismantling them all because they've all been terrible. And also because we haven't had warriors. That's the other big thing. So, yeah, we need to invest our next couple of skill points in unlocking shields. So I guess it'll be light armor first. Uh, but yeah, we're definitely doing a two-handed sword because she's a warrior. That's that's what we do. Uh, okay, we'll give her a crossbow because she oh, she's getting pretty pretty weighed down. But at the same time, I mean, we're done. So that's that's her gear. Uh, whoops, we can. Uh, well, we've got a bunch of stuff to do here actually. Curiosity, what bonuses does this give us? Oh, you're just plus damage while we're in the village. Yeah, but we're waiting on the Moonstone for this. I guess we might as well start moving that expedition back then. Pull out a gold, back dwarves, pull out a silver, it'll just be better. The thing, silver is just better than gold in this game. Uh, monster bone. Ah, uh, get a cool looking barracks. Oh, attract beast, way up there. What does the stone one look like? Eh, not bad. Still attract beast? Really? Because of the sandstone? Or is it because of the silver? No, it's because of the stone. Interesting. I didn't realize they did that. Yeah, well, anyway, we'll get the, the double moonstone here. Get our third impressive structure and also a really high damage bonus and also probably more attract human. More attract human would be nice. And then at this point, I guess we're wanting to grow up into... Um, well, we should also probably be doing the smithy as well, because we get a better bonus here. Uh, I, I got distracted with this game. I keep doing things. You know. Attract beast. Yeah, we can attract bone, bone smithy. Plus three to craft. Uh, plus one to craft, but plus dwarf. I okay, go silver, plus three to craft. Uh, granite, plus four crafting. That wouldn't be bad. Yeah, instead of plus two, we'd have plus four. But again, I think we can just go double moonstone here and maybe get up to five or six. That would be pretty cool. And then if everybody has plus six crafting, we can do things a lot better. Uh, but I'll figure out all this stuff uh, in the next part. This has been going on long enough. Uh, likewise, you guys... Well, I mean, we're grabbing it, but we have so many things that we want to use the moonstone for, and you guys seem to be doing fine out here. Like the only reason to move them back earlier would be to start building something. But anyway, yeah, talk, talk, talk. Let's go, let's go. Uh, we're done. We'll, we'll, we'll figure out what we're doing next time. We'll see you then.